Hung in forever, man. Jacket, man. Remember, his, so Bob Adongo's breakout performance being pound, uh, the return of pound in uh, 2016, 2017, 2017. Ooh. Pound 2017 was the return of, uh, was like the breakout for Abadongo, right? Because he brought, oh wait, no, I think it was 2016. I, I forget what year it was, man. It was, it was a pound. or 18, I think it's 2017. It was a pound, man. The, the, the pound because he busted out Mewtwo, yes, which is like the character, we, we did, we, uh, the character we didn't really see that much, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're jumping into this, Charlie the King fighting off against Mammy. Abadongo no. opting to go with Palutena. Up, it's gonna be a little bit of an error. Yeah. But yeah, Abadongo, man, he, uh, one, one of the legends out there. Yeah, but well, actually, was there, wasn't there not a pound? Yeah, there was not. I think it was 26. It was the return of pound after it was gone for so long. Because there was pound five back in the brawl days, and then it, there was uh, just years and years of no pounds. And it was the return of pounds, so whatever year that was. That was when it came back. Because I remember that specifically that Abadongo won that with you two because the color scheme matched you two. It was yeah, like purple and white. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it was a big deal because like no one expected him to win the tournament, especially when Zero was on like a uh, on a tear, you know? Yeah. I, do, I do think it's 2017. Or he didn't win, yeah. but like, anyway. Right. But I don't know, man. I, 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 I uh, History, man. It's hard. History, man. But you history know what? is hard, man. You know what? It's a hard man that what people feel me, of <laughs> fortune. Get in it. Get in it. 49% just like that. That Nair of Palutena is making everyone's dreams come true. Such a strong tool, man. Yeah. And I, like you said, with, with Power versus Shulk, this is going to be a great matchup for uh, Shulk just because of the fact that he has the, the big sword to be able to outspace through the neutral airs that Palutena is lovingly known for, right? He gets so much damage off of them, especially with the forward airs as well. So they combo into a lot of stuff. So we have a large range that the Minato offers, you know? Right, but on the other side, there are five of those tools that you're going to see from Palutena that are going to be great as well. Of course, she does have her zoning capabilities. Coming out with uh, the auto reticle. It was pound 2016. Yeah, I just looked it up. Oh, it is 2016. Yeah, 2016. Okay. He won it. There you go. All right. Anyways, here we yeah. go. Um, but also, to, uh, besides that, right, you have uh, a guilty plane. Uh, you have. What? Wow. That was an opportunity for yeah, a yeah. forward tilt. That could have been a baseball swing. Yeah, he's got that. Swing. That was a grand slam, man. I don't know what but he didn't go for. Baron dash attack are actually really good uh, to deal with a lot of the attacks you're going to see from Salt because Salt is just going to be a character that you can react to his moveset even though they're very small tools. There we go, throwing out some more Nairs from Shulk. Offstage pressure, and every single time you see Nico get his opponent off stage, and he has that huge advantage. You see, more often than not, he's gonna opt to go for the smash and not a work. Yeah. Just like the same time for everyone. Oh, nice spacement of that uh, placement of that neutral air. Oh, not gonna get it this time around yet. But Nair is such a solid tool there. It's lasted for so long, and it has a great knockback move. It literally is one of those moves that is consistently a threat throughout the course of the match. Right. Force Smash trying to catch this roll on the stage. Honestly, oh. a lot of players like to go for that as the first option because you know, a lot of people are just like, you know, I'm just going to roll when they approach yeah. because they're invincible. But you know, Abadongo is not going to fall for that. Here we go. Smash Mario Art, super safe for him to go for in this point in time. Out of shield. Up. There you go. Honestly, Air Slash has shield. One of his quickest options and devastating options out of shield. So good. It's, it's just one of his quickest aerial uh, grounded attacks, right? right? Besides, obviously, like, jab, down tilt. Ooh, not going to get that there, but nonetheless, he gets the damage here. There we go. Down well, throw. Chase. Nope. Not today. Playing a safe, spacing out these forward airs instead. Now I can go for Minato Art. And I love that Abdon recognized he was trying to space himself out. He's like, all right, you're going to space me out? I'm going to dash back. Easy auto reticle. Hold that damage. I always have that kind of option to lure you back in to where you have the box with me. And you'll see Nico actually going for these neutral from behind first because the neutral starts up in the back. Which is why he likes to go do it while facing away from his opponent. Right, 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 right. He's been using that a lot. Good jump. It's back on stage. You saw that spike coming from Abadongo. He yeah. wanted that down air. Shield art. Gonna play it safe. Tosses him off. Turn it off. Forward tilt. There's the baseball swing. And with a pivot as well. He saw the smoke come up from the ground. Yeah. And Nico finds himself with a slight lead. Let's see if he can try to carry this on forward. Okay, here we go. Catches the spot dodge. Again, Shulk being a fantastic area for catching spot dodges just based on the fact that it, how his aerials work. Yeah. Super slow. They have a lot of wind up on it. Good damage. Already at 75% yeah. on the stop. Down throw to dash attack with Bust Mount Art does so much. Good air. Good. Yeah, there Wasn't afraid to challenge air slash. Which Not is at like all. really like that's that that takes some cojones, man. 
gotta know, man, especially in this game, especially for a character like Paul Tana, Nair is so good off stage, you have to enforce your will on characters, especially with recoveries like Shulk. He was hoping for him to jump out of shield, but now goes to the shield Manor to end the combo. Oh, Abinago recognizing what was going on. on. Yep. Yes. And now next time he hits, he will not have that combo breaker. Yeah. For at least like 16 seconds. Yep. They go forward air, big combos off of that dash attack. Keep him going forward. Now he's thinking jumping out of our will take the most amount of damage. Smash Monado. Going out for the speed. Wow. And again. He's really good at spacing out those air slashes away from the ledge, so he's able to get that second swing. Another forward tilt. Smash Monado, I don't think is ready just yet. Sit back. Oh, doesn't even anyways. need anyways. Oh, no, wait, hold yet. on. Tries to bait out the warp a little early. Up to the clap. Cover the line. Wow. That was just pressure wow. from Nico. You saw it. He was off stage. Yes, he was, he, is, he right. is pounding his knee. You know, he yeah. is feeling him. This is a good win for him. You saw him. He was underneath the platform. He waited for him to land down on the ground before throwing out that up yeah. tilt to cover the landing. Forcing Abadango into the corner, which is exactly what Nico wanted. He yep. didn't want to land the up tilt. He wanted to push him, him oh, to the look corner. Look at him, man. I told you, Woo! man. I told That's what I said. Yo, these guys' hats are off. The passion, man. They're, it's... The passion is there. Just because you see him stone face a lot all the time, my man has passion, and he's feeling it right now. He's like, yes, I want this set, and I'm going to take it. This would be a big deal for Nico to get into top eight winner side for a big tournament of the Mango. Like, yeah. he, he, he's not, he hasn't been able to like, accomplish that as much, you know? Especially winner side, of all things. Yeah. Like you saw MomoCon, where he got really close to taking some sets off of some players, but unfortunately, he wasn't happy with his placement. So this is his time to shine. He oh, has two more oh, games, God. but okay, Abadongo is yeah, not going to make it easy. Ooh. 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 Oh, that would have been obviously. Yeah, okay. We're back. The 103% right out the gate. That's really tough to deal with. Speed Mountain Art. Going to give him some movement here. Yeah, he's got some opportunities here. Oh, get sniped out on that landing. You can just tell Abadango's not afraid of this art, man. No, he, doesn't, he doesn't care how fast he's going. Nope. He's like, I still know where you are. That's Back what a lot of players need to do against Shulk, right? Uh, when they're airborne, is go for the parries. You can see that wind up coming up. He just let go of the shield, he gets the neutral air, gets the kill. Abadango's taking away stock number one with the try and true neutral air. Yeah, really good stuff. And yeah, absolutely, I agree. Again, this is a character where you can react punished to a lot of things. So it's like you can react dash back, you can react parry, all these kind of situations because of that big sweeping movement he has to do, that startup. You have to recognize that and punish that. A lot of this character can be more of a trouble than it needs to be. Double oh, jump. Was there? No, that was a, no, no, he almost got the spacing correct on that down air too. A little spike. So speed oh, gets down scooped. tilt dash oh. back. I love that trade. And Powell gets so much off of that down tilt, Ooh. man, like on the air slash because Shulk does an auto snap, able to really easy get that down tilt into yeah. a reverse aerial rush back air yeah. for the kill. And Nico trying to pull out oh all the my stops gosh, I love that. with that smash from You saw him go below the stage, gets the air slash, connects the second swing, gets the kill, and the damage keeps on coming. The shield not hard to be able to escape the combo from yep. not being able to do his full force, right? Yep. 23 damage. Instead. There we go. This one you're going to have to hold now. And he Ooh. turned off jump immediately because that's, that's the most devastating for Shulk. He takes the most of damage right form. Absolutely. Down tilt. Down oh, F tilt. Yep, push him out. Abadongo has found an answer. Spamming down tilt. I'm not even really thinking about it at this point. I mean, he's going to put that pressure out there. Hash it, dude. It's a very, very solid tool. And Nico at 93%. Just really where you see, yep. And well spaced, so you can just get that back throw, send him back out. Okay, he thought he was going to go for an early, either forward air or an air slash. That's why you often go for the counter. That's yeah, the decision. good awareness. The yeah. majority of the time when you see Nico Pressure, he's been born for that, as you see right there. So I love the attempt there. He's going to go this time around. Let's it's, see. It's because he holds down against the lead. Yes. Yeah. So he doesn't auto, it, right. automatically snap on him. Oh, you know? absolutely. Nico crosses him with the neutral air. In response to the air of his own 153%, things are looking pretty bad for Nico. Yeah, but this is so very myself. grim. Okay, going to get this jab here. Bust him out of art. But we are talking about Shulk, ladies and gentlemen. This if character you have the right it. management, you can always come back. That's the quality of this character. It's like you have one and a half or two stocks even sometimes when you are doing stuff properly. And honestly, if he just doesn't get hit, he won't die. <laughs> that, is, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> if he does not get hit, he will not die. 
<laughs> Off stage gets caught by the Twizzle Wing, but because he switched Ooh, the shield clean. Monado art, he was able to live. That was clean. Smart stuff, because he didn't oh, want to... Yeah. Oh, okay. I want to talk about that shield Monado art swap, right? Because the explosive flame was out there, and the point of how it's going to explosive flame going off stage is if it doesn't kill, it's going to eat one of your resources. It's going to eat your jump, or it's going to eat your air dodge. But Nico wanted to conserve both of them, so he's like, you know what? I'll take it. But I'll swap the shield so I take very minimal damage as well as not die from it while maintaining, you know, his right. air dodge and his double jump. But because of that, he allowed Avandango to be in a situation where he could less trap him knowing full well the combo breaker is offline. Right. That was, that's the beauty of that situation. Well, I understand the great defensive play right there from Nico, but even greater offensive play coming out from Alright, so let's jump into game number three. Nico opting to pick, take him to town and city. Now, this is going to be a great stage for Shulk, because not only the blast zones, you know, a little bit closer to the ledge with the forward airs yep. off stage, it allows him to have this big open stage with the platforms, able to jump over crowd, and along with that jumping out of water. Just a lot of room to run around and move. True. You know, it's just a pretty solid stage for Shulk. Yeah. All right, they're going to send him back. All of the pressure here. Mabdanko finally gets into the corner. Again, we're going to see this ledge play. Oh, man, the drift. So we good talk for Nico. Talk about that drift, man. My man looking like Tokyo out here. You saw him get away from the ledge to avoid that uh, that spike. Mabdanko is so hungry for the down air. He's been, not been able to land a single one yet uh -huh. because of Nico's trickery, tricky recovery. Oh, a little delay on that up smash. Yeah. Up smash will reach below the ledge, so in that situation, it's very, very good against characters who have similar recoveries as like Shulk. Yeah, now they're sitting in Buster Minato Art, 121 for Sang. Gets caught by the Nair, still going to be able to live. Great DI coming out from Nico. Off to switch over to Shield, just try to find himself with some stage control in the process. Not going to die in that process, but back off stage to the right side instead of the left. Barely who caps on the ledge, avoids the down tilt in the process. Just off to go jump, just to escape the ledge. Yeah. Okay, back air. Steve not allowed to give himself some speed, but you know Edge what? Catch. Yeah, I mean, that's going to catch. Honestly, when Nico's in Steve not art, his first reaction is to, like, run in and right. throw out something. And that's exactly what Abadongo recognizes. Yep. Throws out an active hitbox. It's like, okay, come at me. And it's I feel fun. like maybe Nico needs to, to like, hone down the, uh, the, the pace of this match, right? Switch over to Buster not art. Try to space out the power instead. Get back up the damage that way. There we go, not gonna get too much off of it. That was like three damage. You yeah. know, hey, who cares? Yep. <laughs> Barely anything there. They're trying to cross him up with the forward area again. He's just gonna shield right out of there. I think he wanted the turnaround again. That's the second time I think he honestly wanted to go for the turnaround, but like the missing inputs are coming out from Nico. Smash Mount Art, not be able to catch the dash attack. Hold on a sec. Finally gets the turnaround this time around, but not able to still, you know, catch his opponent with it. Yeah. Well, cross is coming out from Joel. Abadongo reaching with these back airs, forward airs, any airs. <laughs> Anything he can land. Anything he can land, dude. Yeah, I think, you know, I think that was Minato's sword, the dial sword right there. Yeah. There we go. Forward air with this uh, Smash Minato Art, opts to go over to speed. 7%, Shield Minato Art coming out. This is going to give him plenty of time to get back on the stage. Jab, punishable. Four Smash. Okay. Oh. Honestly, that's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> My instinct was yeah. terrible. Here we go, back throw. No back throw, and no, not yet. Jump to give himself some vertical mobility. Big damage, I like these confirms. Gets the air dodge re, but not able to connect the neutral air. That's gonna be a toss from Abadongo. Wow. Brings him to his final stock. Yeah. Good stuff there by Abba. The grab, throws him off. Yep, easy damage. Once he saves pressure. Big damage off that neutral air, you saw that. Not hard to just get out of that combo. He's really hungry for these dash attacks. Tosses him off yet again. Smash not hard. The ledge Ooh. messing him up as he vacuum brings him back onto the stage on a little taxi. Even. Yeah. My Uber came early, man. Catch the four <laughs> air sends him flying. The bear. And that was great adaptation from Nico. Oh, but there it, that is money. Finally finds his mark. You know he was looking for that down air the entire set. You saw Nico. He's like, run it back. Run it back. Run it back, man. Yeah. Because he didn't want that. Yeah, he's upset about that one. Man, you saw the adaptation from Nico with that yeah. platform brought Abadongo back onto yep. the stage. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with this. Gets the yep. forward air, got the kill, but unfortunately for him, the down air finally found its mark from Abba. He tried it so many times, because it's kind of tricky to get that against air slash if uh, sure. Nico tries to play around with it. But the Shulk is going away potentially. He's hovering over Joker, but he's gonna go back to Shulk. And this is actually what I believe in, you know. Stick to your guns. I think Nico can still win this set. I think this is insanely doable for him with Schultz. True. 
I mean, I can see it, man. Here we go. Demise representing Shulk with Nico. Yep. SFB on Abadango for Palutena. Jump into this. Winner of this. Abadango one game away from moving on to top eight winner side. Absolutely. Game four. Let's see if Nico has the adaptation here. Of course, Abadango going to make this work. Right now, it's looking like a Japanese filled winner side top eight. Yeah, Let's see definitely. if someone from Cali can break this streak. It definitely is, man. You see him trying to space out with these back Stop. airs as yeah, well. Not working. Right in front of him. Awesome. Shield Metal Art burn it to escape that combo. And just like that, uh, Shield Metal Art is done. Next hit's going to be a big one. Good patience here from Nico. Can sit back. He understands. He wants to make sure that he can load up that Shield Monado Art here. So if he needs to utilize it, he can. And honestly, Abadago is recognizing that he can't outrange the show. Yeah. That's why he's playing like that, the right. neutral from that large of a distance. Exactly. Like, if you're going to get he's overzealous and charging to me, there'll be a narrow rating. Exactly, exactly. But until then, try to poke with these forward airs. Yep, good landing punish. Oh, the air bear. dodge read. Wait a minute. Oh, Explosive that's a cast, play. and that is a stock. Fantastic edge guard coming out from Abadango. You saw the entirety. He read the air dodge. He reads where he's going to go with the explosive flame. Yeah. And it's low committal for Pally to be able to go for that explosive flame as well. Went nowhere with that. Yeah, absolutely throw. deleted. Like, uh, who, who taught you how to throw? Yeah. <laughs> My God. So weak. Right, here we go. Land down with the back air. Neutral air before. The, you saw the Nair was ready. Yep. Oh, but Nair is way quicker. There we quicker. go. And oh, just, man. The delays there from Nico, man. So talented. So skilled. Yeah. But honestly, he's having trouble landing these hits. Only 30 damage this entire game. He finally finds himself with uh, some stage control here. Bust Matter Art online to give him some, some big damage. Yeah. Trying to play it safe. Abadango's gonna wait for that art to go up. away. She'll speed Metal Art. Opts to go off stage by Axe. I don't think he went, I think he slipped. Yeah, yeah, now this is gonna be rough. Good swing. He needed that one. Yeah, just to give himself a, get up some breathing room. Get off. Okay, this is what they started here. Smash Metal Art. Wants to grab. Shield very quickly. Yeah. You saw that. That was smart. But look at that, man. All of that gone. Just like that. So, wow. Abadango was pummeling to get rid. Exactly. Of that the, was the like, shield. Literally, the way that he played around Shield and Monado Art was so damn good there. Not gonna get the stock. Oh, Ooh, that's a stock. Are you sure? Back. Are you, what did you say, man? I said, not gonna get the stock? No, yeah, I was not getting the stock. But Nico got it, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Spike of his own. Take this, it. this is the momentum push that he needs. He needs that, man. He needs a bit more than that. You're seeing right now 57 attempts, but as we talked about before, Shulk with proper Monado Art management. This character he might as well be a stock and a half, so we'll see what we can do. He's trying to space out with these back airs. It's one of his longest ranging moves. Okay, jump to get back to the stage. Up air, waiting upon landing. Turns the tables on Abba. Rolls away from the situation completely. Back air is really good at catching again. Rolls. Yeah. Air, the spot dodges, what have you. Any defensive options that Ariel's really good at catching. True. Sure. Especially back here. Good shot. Yeah, I mean, he went for the second forward air because he recognized that Nico likes to jump out of shield and he's oh, going to capitalize on that. Yes, it will, man. And just like that, it is done. And Nico not happy at all I about mean, that. You saw Nico in the game one. He, he, was, he was pumping. He yeah. was really excited. He was like pounding his fist because he's like really hyped that he got game yep. number one. But mm -hmm. Abadango just remained calm and composed. Yeah.